Hello everybody, today I'm here trying out something I've never done before. I want to make a video completing the Big Hero 6 event and I didn't know what the best strategy for that would be so I figured we might as well do a team video. So we've got Hero who is the head of the Big Hero 6 team and uh, we've got him fully leveled up. We also have Wasabi here who is easily one of my favorite on the, to have on the teams. He's usually one um, of my least favorite on the team, but uh, I think he's really good in this game. I enjoy bringing him in. Gogo is probably my most favorite to bring in, and uh, I'll probably be using her quite a lot as we continue to play the game. Honey Lemon I like quite a bit as, lot, uh, as well. I think I'm liking her less and less as we go, but I still enjoy a lot of her moves. He's very helpful. And then Fred, to me, is the least helpful, but his taunt move uh, can be great when you're bringing in someone who's really weak. I enjoy that a lot. Uh, and I guess we might as well show Baymax. I don't know how much we'll be using Baymax, but uh, unfortunately we cannot bring in six people. And Baymax I don't have level up all that much, just because the point of the event is that uh, you're unlocking Baymax, not bringing him in. But we're going to go in through here. I also want to mention that uh, my recording software I was used to record my mic doesn't allow me to do it anymore, so I'm using a different recording thing, so if it sounds any different at all, if uh, something doesn't work and I have to re-record over it, I'm going to have to figure out something else. But yeah, it's super frustrating that I have to download an entirely different thing just to record my audio. But anyways, this is the first event that I've ever complete completed all the way, and it is a legendary event, so it's pretty cool. Oh, I should have taken a second to look at the full team there. I will after this battle. Does it bring in Baymax for me as well? Or is it just these five? I think it's just these five. I was hoping it would bring in Baymax too, because sometimes it does that. So, oh man. So he's really strong, actually. We need to shield. So here's Hero's strong suit, is that he can shield everybody and makes everyone pretty much invincible for an entire hit. Which is great. Um, Wasabi has crazy um, strong moves, and Honey Lemon is all about status effects, so I'm going to slow everyone down with this move. Um, Gogo hits a lot of characters for a, a really good amount of damage, so going through that we killed the whole back row. And uh, Fred, like I said, he's really good at taunting, making the enemies fight him. Uh, but other than that, his fire move I don't like all that much, but we might as well do it. And it does a good amount of damage to everyone, and I think... I don't know who inflicted the, um... The eyeball, I forget what that's called. But someone did that. And that's very helpful as well. And Wasabi, I guess if he kills, he also gets the chance to attack again, which is really good. Hero's really important to keep alive, because he does shield everyone, and also his other move make someone go again. I usually choose Honey, or sorry, I usually choose Go Go because I like uh, using her moves to take out a huge crowd. We still can't hit him yet. Now we can. But he is going to survive for quite a while yet. Yokai is a pretty formidable enemy, I guess. But yeah, the unfortunate thing about Go Go is that her moves aren't all that great for um, when a character has very little health. But Wasabi right now is going to be really good for this because he hits a lot of times. Uh, for a good, uh, It'll be a lot of damage in the end. So it'd be great to be able to use him. Uh, oh, so it do we hit him. Yeah. What he's doing is he's invincible for a certain amount of hits. And then once you get rid of all the hits, he's just dead. So there we go. We have one more level, but let's look at the lineup all next to each other. And... Uh, I'm not going to change where everyone is because I think everyone's in a good spot. Fred definitely deserves to be up in the front. Maybe we switch these two around. Because I feel like Wasabi is also a very hard front hitter. And then Hero should be in the middle. It's unfortunate that Baymax can't be standing here with them. But uh, that's okay. So this is the first time I've ever completed an event like this. I have no idea what's going to happen, honestly. I've never watched anyone else do it either. So I'm very curious to see. I don't think it's going to be all that exciting, but it's exciting to me at least that we're going to get that um, talisman for it. So let's use this. Yeah, they're all going to be really strong. We need to make sure to shield right away. 
and then uh, just start taking some out one by one. Slow everyone down as well, would be great. Let's do the back line. We really need to get rid of some of these tendrils. I don't, are they, is that what I should call them? <laughs> They're just way too many. Um, and I want to show the taunt move, so we're going to illustrate that because he's actually pretty strong. Okay. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Whatever, that's fine. Wait, Hero's dead too? When did that happen? That's maybe not good. We might have to restart this one. Um, so... We can stun one of them randomly. We might as well do that. Okay, so we're almost all dead, but we could still win, potentially. I'd really rather have Wasabi than Gogo at this point. Uh, I think you'll die. So now we can attack you. Oh, what? Since when can he do that? There's no way we're going to win this, man. Gogo does protect herself. Okay. She does protect herself sometimes. Yeah, so I guess this deserves to be a tough battle. I was thinking maybe we go into some other levels and bring them in as well, but maybe we just do this. So I ended up playing for about an hour and a half, doing the same thing over and over again, and eventually I just ended up winning. And I don't know what I did any differently, but it worked out. So I apologize that I don't have the footage of me actually beating it, but you can see here, I, I did get a trophy and everything, I did beat this. We're going to go ahead and do something real quick, let me just go and switch out of this. So first we're going to upgrade Baymax to the 7 star. He's fully up there now and I've wasted so many of my coins on the Big Hero 16, but he's up there now, maxed out. And uh, we're just going to try and use the team a little bit more. We haven't used Baymax at all, so we're going to take a character out and use Baymax. We might as well just try and 3 star some things I haven't done yet while we're at it. Um, so we're definitely bringing Go Go. We're definitely bringing in. There's a helicopter outside. It's so loud. We're definitely gonna bring in Wasabi. I say we bring in. Well, I don't say, but we're going to bring in Baymax. Hello, I am Baymax. And I'm torn between Honey Lemon and Fred, honestly, because Fred might help to keep Baymax. Oh my gosh, that's so loud. There's no way you can't hear that. I'm like yelling over it. <laughs> okay, um. Oh. Let's bring in Honey Lemon. Sorry, Fred, but you're not getting in today. So we're going in here. And, uh. We've shown off everyone else. We just want to see how Baymax works with the team. Oh, I just realized we have auto on. And obviously we're going to just destroy these levels. Oh, I shouldn't have even used my skill. But, uh... Oh my gosh. I don't even think Baymax got a move. But he did do the thing in the beginning where he taunted and also... Got defense up, maybe? Was that what he did? Um, let's go to a harder one. And... I just didn't want to waste that much energy. But I suppose we'll have to. So going in here, he starts that round off by taunting. And uh, we're going to shield everyone. So I'm hoping we can see Baymax now in just a second. So yeah. He can heal, which is great, and it was pretty obvious he would be able to heal. And he's got two pretty big hits. We'll use this one with Hero. How does that work if you don't bring in Hero? I've literally, I don't think I've ever seen that. Can you just not do it without Hero? I've got to try that. I've got to come into a match without Hero and see what happens. Because Hero literally jumped on his back. Does, I, I'm guessing he just flies up and Hero just doesn't get on his back. But I'm curious. Let's heal for no reason. We don't need to heal. 
Oh, and I should take a look at <clears throat> my new talisman I got for doing this. Like I said, that was the first trophy I've ever gotten, so it's a big deal to me. And I love Big Hero 6 a lot. That's why I focus on leveling them up the, uh, all the way and getting their trophy first, is because I just love the team. And I knew if I was going to do it to any team, I'd want it to be this one. And at the time when I started trying to level them up, they were the best characters in the game, apparently. So it was a worthwhile thing to do. And I I really enjoy a lot of their moves. I'm glad that I like their moves as well. Um, honestly, I don't care about Baymax's moves all that much, I gotta be honest. Let's see Hero jump on. Maybe he just does more damage or heals when Hero's with him. I should have looked to see if there's a... It says something like that. I'm not going to do it without Hero because I'm fairly confident that Hero just doesn't jump on his back. But I do think you get some sort of boost. Or like maybe you don't heal if you don't have Hero with you or something. It's got to be like that. You know what? We, we might as well do it just so we can bring in Fred. And then this is the last uh, fight we're gonna do today. Um, if you want me to see, or if you want to see more teams in the, uh, in this game, I know I've been doing it in Disney Heroes Battle Mode. But if you want to see more in Disney Sources Arena, definitely let me know. This is kind of an experiment, I guess. And I'll probably at the very least uh, do like a showcase of me getting the trophies every time, even if I'm not doing a full team video. But. Uh, I'm going to work on Frozen, and hopefully I get all the Frozen stuff. You know, new characters always come first, but as soon as we're done working on new characters, we will start working on the Frozen characters again. And hopefully that'll work out. So, oh, so I still heal. Maybe it just does less damage. And I forgot to look at the move again. Maybe at the end we look or something. But, you might, oh, never mind. We're good. Amex is some of the weakest out of all of them because I didn't feel the necessary to level him up. But we've done that level. We've three starred a few new ones, which is good. And uh, let's go look at that the talisman I got. I got this one, the Baymax Chip Talisman, created by Tadashi Hamada, of course. Does the gold one show up in here? I guess not. But I know it does show up on my account. So here's my trophy. I think you can set it as your profile pic if you want to. Yeah, so it's right there. I'm not going to change it to my profile pic, but I am very proud that I have it. And I guess it's my proof here that I actually beat it on my own. I don't think there's a way to cheat that battle either. There's no way for me to go back into it. Um, the event is just completed. You can't do it again. But you can see I only got one star. So, Okay, that's all. Again, if you like seeing teams in this game, we're going to do Frozen next. If you enjoyed this, if not, we'll just show me getting the trophy for it. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.